first question is in relation to the ICJ, you being, you know, part of the international community and the fact that Azerbaijan uh, is not really complying with the decisions of the um, ICJ. How would you assess that? I, I guess the question is on the role of the effectiveness of the uh, international courts. As I said yesterday, it is important that um, in, we all have to respect international law. We, if we want international law to protect us, we have to respect it, everyone, every state. Um, it does not help for any state to disregard the judgment of the International Court of Justice. Uh, it's important that every state, even though the judgment may look like it is against the interest of a particular state, we have to remember that International Court of Justice are independent, impartial judges who look at a question and they are not they have no personal interest in that. They answer the questions like referees who are refereeing, you know, um, a, a dispute independent. So it is important that we give the maximum respect to judgments of the International Court of Justice. Because that's the only way we can have international law protect humanity, protect even the countries today may look like they are in a strong position to defy international law. If that system crumbles, they may end up tomorrow needing that system, but it will not be there to protect even they. What other tools can we potentially use to uh, to enforce the decision of the international courts? Um, other tools, referring the matter to um, the United Nations will be one thing to consider. Um, there are two systems in the UN. First, you have the Security Council, of course, who will have the difficulty with a right. Um, would any state in the Security Council exercise veto power that will stop the Security Council doing something? Uh, but beyond the Security Council, you also have the UN General Assembly. That is another place where people can refer questions. But it is important that we all make efforts to see that international uh, judgments of international courts, be it the International Court of Justice or the International Criminal Court, are respected and enforced around the world. There's a Council of Europe as well, that, or, or the OSCE, basically all the international uh, forums that the countries in question are uh, member states to, can be used as a way to try and enforce the judgment of International Court of Justice. Court of Human Rights, is that what? Well, that, it depends. So that's a, an avenue. I mean, if it's a human rights question, you can go there. If it's also the um, European Court itself, the European Court of Justice can also be, you know, a mechanism that can be looked at. So you, um, but these are ideas I'm giving, and the, the legal, um, you know, advice us to various governments can look into more detail about what is possible. But I'm also thinking about, you know, associations where you have peer nations, as in, you know, peer pressure. When you are a member of an association, uh, it may not be a court of law, but you table a complaint to a group of states or members to an internal here is a problem we have. Um, we've not been able to resolve this thing as a one on one negotiation. We've gone to court, we've obtained judgment from a court, that judgment is not being respected. Can you help us to see that this judgment is respected or this matter is resolved? At all times, it is important, as I stress, to use diplomacy all the tools of diplomacy to resolve a problem, to use the tools of negotiation to resolve a problem. What is, what I would um, always discourage is people using force, using military power to try and resolve a problem. It is never good. It doesn't end up well at all. 
քաղաքական նաև քան որ խոսվում էր ճնշումների վերաբերյալ շատ հաճախ գիտենք որ քաղաքական կամքը նաև այլ պետությունների կողմից քաղաքական կամքի դրսևորումը հանգեցնում է նրան որ այդ որոշումները կայացվեն թե կուս օրինակ պատժամիջոցներ են կիրառվում եւ այլ այլ պետությունների նկատմամբ որոնք իրավական որոշումները չեն կատարում so she's talking about the political will of specific countries or certain countries she didn't mention any countries to enforce such decisions uh for example the with the utilization of specific sanctions you know by certain countries again against the aggressor to enforce the uh decisions of the international court what are your views on that use of pressure and you know sanctions to enforce uh judgments it depends on if it, it, it it's always better as i say to use peaceful means to enforce a judgment um of course there are different grades of peaceful means some of them could be okay let's negotiate to if negotiation fails to bring pressure pressure could be moral pressure if that doesn't work well people may have to resort to you know using the groups they belong to to impose or sanctions but then the group in question uh, will assess it to see whether the standards for sanctions are met in that particular situation so it up to them to to weigh whether to impose sanctions or not so heta gnum hamaryat nuin nakhort harti patasxanin aisinkan iharke karvor e khagakh untsor janaparnerov divanagitakan janaparnerov bayts naev yete da chi gortsum arten heta gnum yete inch vor asociatsiyaneri mijotsov kogmits karoganum en ait jnshumner sanktsiyaner kirarvel yete sanktsiyaner kirarvelu untsor ma levelin asenk te hasalenk հոմի ստատ հոմի ստատուտի հետ կապված վերջին որոշման հետ շատ են կապում քննադատում են եթե օրինակ հայաստանում վավերացվի Putini Zerpakalman voroshman het kapvats ais arumov inch karogh e asel vorotev bavakanin khnarkvets yev yete romi statute vaveratsnum enk apa sa inch en nshanakum orinak Vladimir Putin e esteg yete gapiti Zerpakalvi Vasi Putin e leratsnov hatsa yelenech meker marki voroshumnere chkatarelu zhamanak այդ օրերին նաև այսինքն այս վերջին ժամանակ հատվածում հայաստանում նաև ակտիվ է քննարկում որ հայաստան պետք է դինի միջազգային քրեական դատարան այս սարցախի հետ կապված հարցերի ընդունման կարող է It is two parts but they're kind of related uh first of all the the issue of the Rome statute ratification and the issue of the Russia's president of Vladimir Putin potentially being arrested in Armenia uh if you see that as an issue that's one and the second of all if uh you know the ICJ was not able to really the judgment has not been in let's say if there has been a ratification of the rome statute could the issue of the artsakh be potentially you know discussed at the icc since there has been no compliance with the icj all right there are two questions I <laughs> <laughs> well the um, what i mean yes of course that question always comes up well, what I, will the um um uh, membership of um a room statute and what happens if uh, would there be an obligation to arrest um, president putin or anyone else the it's important for us to consider that membership of the room statute is more important than the question of any particular individual so the people of armenia need to ask themselves the question do we need to be members of the room statute and i would I uh, like to think that they answer that question on the positive side of that question the world is what it is the life is not perfect and that's um for them to decide um about their obligations of the rome statute but it is important to 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 consider that um any president be it putin be it biden be it whoever uh, they are human beings and um after all they are and the peace of a nation the security of a nation um is something that people have to think very seriously about that in my view this peace of the world from my perspective 
is more important than the question of any particular human being mm -hmm. in any mm -hmm. country. Mm -hmm. So I think we can leave it at that. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh,